Okay, cool. Um, it's recording now. All right, so what I have here is um, a, a blank canvas. And what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm just gonna set up a matrix because that's pretty much what people are gonna use. Are they gonna use a matrix or they're going to use a, um, a mega tree or something along the lines of that. I'll set this up to be 50-50, which is a good looking matrix. Um, so once you get the matrix set up, you're gonna come over here into the faces attribute of it, and you can create multiple um, singing faces. So I'm gonna do a quick one here. I'm gonna call this one Snowman. And I'm going to do this as a matrix. And I'm going to go find where I store my stuff. X lights. All shapes, and I'm gonna go grab the snowman. Here we go. And the first one I wanted to grab was the AI. That's the one I double clicked on. So when I do that, I'm gonna grab that and it's gonna do all of them at the same time. Um, just for fun, I'm gonna go add another one. I'm gonna go add the light bulbs. because I want to show you something that I saw here in the group the other day. Um, so I'll go back over here, and I think there's singing, here it is, singing bulbs. I'll go grab, I'll go grab the green ones. And there's no U for these ones. All right, so I'm gonna hit okay. So now I've got, if you go back in here, you've got two faces to find. I've got light bulbs and a snowman, and all the, all the different things are set up. So now if I go into my sequencer, um, I can go create a new sequence. Um, I'll just do uh, an animation for right now because I don't have any music that I'm gonna add to it. And you do, I'm gonna do 40, quick start. That's gonna give me a matrix. Um, I'm going to go add a few layers just because. Uh, just real quick, go back over to your layout tab and save. Otherwise, you won't have your singing faces available. Oh, okay. Good to know. All right. So I went back over here and I just hit the save button. And um, I just saved this into an arbitrary place here. It's all going into an RGB effects file that's brand new right here. Um, so now I'm going to go into my sequencer. And I'm going to, let's do, let's go import some lyrics just for the fun of it. Um, let's do Frosty the Snowman lyrics. And I guarantee you Rob's gonna show you a different way to do this. But I'm just trying to do this quick and dirty. Okay, so now I got some lyrics. I'm gonna go into my timing. Um, I'm gonna do import lyrics. I'm just gonna paste the lyrics in here like this. What that's gonna do is it's going to create, it's gonna, now I've only made this sequence 30 seconds long, so I really should, let me, let me redo this. Let me go change the sequence settings and make it a, um, a two minute song. And that way it won't be so uh, compact. So if you do it again, like you'll see that it, what it did was it, cre it equally spaced out all the different phrases amongst that 30 seconds. I'm gonna do it again, which is gonna erase all that. So I'm gonna hit import, I'll paste it again. And so now it's going to break up all those different phrases along that two minutes of the song. And if you zoom into it, you can see the different phrases. So we got Frosty the Snowman was a holly job. He's, wow, <laughs> was a jolly happy soul. <laughs> all right, so from here, um, what you can do, is you've already got something there now. Um, and you can now drag a faces effect onto here. And with that faces effect, you can go in here and say that you want it based on a timing track. I'm gonna do this off of, oops, you know what? I probably gotta go break this down first, right? Let's break down the phrases. Oh, when, whenever you first break down phrases or phonemes or phenoms or however that it's pronounced, um, it has to load up a dictionary. Um, and it loads up the dictionary 
and so that it knows how to break everything up. So it's always going to take uh, a minute the very first time you do it. Now I've got for, uh, now I've got words. I've got Frosty the Snowman inside of this phrase here. Um, now I should be able to grab this. Where did that panel go? I think I lost it. Um, what panel is that that I'm looking for? Fact assist? No. Fix settings. There we go. Still doesn't have it. Got my light bulbs, got my snowman. Well, let's go try something. Just render it first, and then you have to render it? Yeah, let's let's hit the render button. Let's save it too. Save it out of the You have to break it into the foamings. Do you have to get it down that low? Yep. Alright, so let's break down the let's break down the words now. And what that's going to do is it's going to break it down into um, individual word sounds. So the sounds that would make up Frosty are these different types right here. So let me go hit save again. And I'll hit render. And let me go back over here and see I still don't have a timing track. Well, let's do this. Here we go, I fixed it. So now what you do is inside of your um, faces uh, effect, you grab it and you set it to a timing track. So I'm just gonna set it to new timing. And so now when you do that, you're gonna see that the model is actually going to start talking. Um, and what I did was I set it to the face definition of these light bulbs so that I have light bulbs. I can also go over here and I can set it to snowman instead. And then the snowman will start talking. So, doing that, what you can do, and this is the easy way to do it, just to, just to get yourself sequencing, is I usually drag this over the whole entire thing. And that way it'll, it'll sing out the whole entire song. Now, something that I saw someone else do is that they wanted to be able to put two singing faces onto one matrix. I thought I would demonstrate that really quickly. Um, because it's not that hard to do. So I'm going to keep this model preview up here like this. And what you do is you go grab another singing face element. I'm going to go here and make it the whole thing. And this one, I'm going to, instead of setting it to the snowman, I'm going to set it over to the light bulb. And then what you can do here is you grab your buffer. And so I can grab this guy here and I'm going to bring the light bulb. So only takes up half of my matrix. I'm going to grab this guy here and he can take up the other half of the matrix. And that way you can get two singing faces onto to one element pretty quickly and simply um, just by having these different face models. But that is how you at least get set up here. Um, sequencing is a whole different animal. Um, and I'm going to take, let Rob have that. Does anybody have any questions that are on the line about how I did any of this? Well, uh, just curious, uh, are you aware, uh, is there locations where we can find the, uh, the singing faces to be able to offer that on a matrix? Is that on the Google Drive possibly? Yeah, yes. the, the Google Drive does have um, some singing faces. So if you go to xlights.org, and you go click on resources, there's a link, because the Google Drive link is terrible. So you go click right here, and this will bring you to all sorts of different free things. Um, and one of them is lyric tracks and singing elements. So you can come in here, and they've got grid faces, and they've got, you know, um, nothing there. Why don't I see anything? There's a pumpkin one. So there's a there's one with pumpkins. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them right here, which 
So there's a ton of different singing faces that are available inside of here that you can go grab. I think these snowman faces are the ones that I actually just used. Um, there's also um, in the same resources page, there's a shared graphics uh, page that has a bunch of singing faces. <clears throat> Oh, on the resources page. On the resources page. Yep. Okay. So that's picture effects below that is singing faces. All right, cool. So I'm let not me saying they're any good, but they're there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Let me show one more trick that um I actually did this year because maybe you don't like the singing faces that are available to you. Um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go kill these. And I'm going to go show you how to do one th a third thing. On that resources page that he just pointed out, there's another set of singing faces, and they're just mouth shapes. So I'm going to show you those ones. Mouth shapes. And I'm going to do those again as a matrix. And I'm going to go find my mouth shapes. Let's see. Oh, shapes, here we go. Grab the AI one that's going to fill these all out. So one of the things that I did um, this year was I did uh, text me Merry Christmas. Um, and I wanted to get a guy and a girl singing. So what you can do is you can drag this um, singing thing here onto this. I'm going to go reset my buffer by double clicking on it right now and I'm going to go set this to um, mouth shapes. So now these are just mouth shapes, okay? The other thing you can do is you can go grab a picture. So I'll go grab this picture icon, throw this on a layer below it, and I will go point this to a picture that I made this year. What I did was I went to Bitmoji and I just went and created some pictures of people. So here's a dude and I'm going to say, let's scale him to fit. And no movement. And it's not showing up. Why? Oh, there we go. Let's do that again. Let's do scale to fit. There's the guy. Okay, cool. So now what I can do is I've got this guy and he's got a giant mouth over him. I can then grab the singing um, face thing. And again, I can use the buffer to shrink this down and go figure out where his mouth actually needs to be and just kind of place it. Perfect. So you can go and make all your own singing faces pretty quickly and easily just by grabbing any face off the internet and just dragging those singing faces on there and it'll look, you know, halfway decent depending on what model you put it on. You know, so and you, quick and easy. You just change that? Oh, no, 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 you have the one graphic, right? It's just one graphic. So it's just one picture of some dude that I made on Bitmoji and I made a, a, one of a girl as well. And all I'm doing is I'm taking this singing face and I'm saying that the only place that it's viewable is in this buffer area right here. And then I'm allowing this picture to fill up the whole entire buffer. So that's the mechanics of how to set up these singing faces uh, for a matrix, a mega tree, something that is nodes on a grid. Um, doing singing faces on like a light bulb that sold by Boss Goyo or Holiday Coro or one of the AC uh, types is a little bit different, but for the purposes of this, um, of this group, the only thing that we're actually going to be exporting out is this piece right here. So these are the mechanics how to get something on your screen that you can see that will work to do your sequencing. 
ahead. Hello? Yep, go ahead. Um, I got here a little bit late and I missed the first, the first section, the first part where you uh, put the, the words like at the very top where it says uh, Frosty the Snowman. How do you break that down? You're in luck. I recorded this whole thing. I'm going to drop this into the Singing Faces group um, in a little bit as soon as I get off of this call. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into two parts. So I'm going to stop recording now and we will make a second recording for when Rob takes over and actually shows us a better way to do this than what I did. Okay. Are you still there? Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop the recording now and then we'll start again. Okay.